Hi, I'm Kevin. And I'm Elaine. And welcome to another AssetMar.Global house tour. So, Elaine, where do you think the wealthiest of the wealthiest buy a house here in the Philippines? I think it's somewhere near Antipolo area. So, everyone you know that is rich enough always has a property in Antipolo. Right? I know, celebrities, politicians, or you know, just big business, big business people. So, yeah. Now, uh, we are in the middle of Antipolo and we're about to feature a very special house because one of our subscribers actually reached out to us and wanted their house to be featured on our channel. And another special thing is, this house is also for sale. Yes, it's for sale. But to be frank, the owners actually don't want to sell it because it's so beautiful and they really love living in it. But if someone offers them the right price, yeah, they're they, probably gonna yeah, sell the property. Yeah, exactly. So it's always about the right price, and hopefully, when you see this video, and this is another inspiration for you guys to watch this video until the end because this house is amazing. Yes. Now let's go start the house tour. Let's go. So now we're at the driveway of this house and grabe sobrang laki talaga ng stone walls dito. Eh. Yes, you see this sobrang country feels nitong bahay na to. And actually we're going through the driveway here pero meron din walkway for people at the side. Yes. Uh, pero gusto lang namin dumaan dito just to show you how massive and expansive this house is. And this is not even the best part of this house na kahit gano karaming guests ang meron ka. Actually, pwede ko sobrang dami mong guests, pwede ka park dito, you know? Yeah, oo. Medyo mataas siya, tapos sobrang luwang niya. Plus, meron din silang... Garage? Yeah. <laughs> so, even at the, with the walkway, you're greeted with this massive garage. How many cars can fit? It's like, let's count. So that's one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Around ten cars can oh, fit in here. If you have more than eight or ten guests, you can actually have them park here at your driveway, yes. at the bottom part of the driveway. So, so many places talaga na pwedeng pagparking and dito. So, when you're talking about bringing guests, having an event, I think this place will not have a problem doing so. Yeah, unlike the rest of Metro Manila, na sobrang skip ng streets, and you know, even the garage is limited. Here, you have a lot of space. So, I think we should enter the house right now. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's go. So, now we're at the front door of this beautiful big house. Let's go check what's inside this mansion. Can you call it mansion? Yeah, I think it could considerably be a mansion. Right? Now. When you look inside, you'll know why. Yes. Hello, Dorman. Hi. Okay. So, so the doors are actually very huge, right? They're yes. Seven feet. Probably I mean, seven probably feet. Eight feet. Pa nga. Pero these are very sturdy doors. It's very thick also. Solid wood. Solid wood. Yeah. Yeah, with modern locks and, you know, handles. Yeah. So when you enter the house, you'll be greeted by this entire space. So it's just a space. So I think it's very welcoming knowing that when you enter the house, parang ang laki nung pwede mong lakaran. Yeah, it's like a big foyer. Yeah, right? so big at the side, you're greeted with a parang mini garden. Yeah, um, a pocket very... garden. And then, of course, you have a powder room beside it. Yeah. But the stairs are actually very, very good. Look how the wood slabs... Actually, there's a lot of wood house. Yeah, it's a mahogany wood flooring. So the stairs are mahogany. Made of mahogany as well as the bedrooms here. Now, this area, actually, if you're into feng shui, sobra perfect ng positioning. Really? Yung, yeah, sobra perfect ng positioning ng staircase niya, kasi it's not facing a door or facing any windows or whatever. Kaya. Hindi lalabas yung swerte. Hindi lalabas yung swerte. Ah, okay. <laughs> because it's Christmas, this entire house is decorated. Yes. 
very very merry. So you guys know when we shot this house. Oh, oh, oh Christmas season talaga. As you can see, this is the space that we've been talking about. It's huge. There's nothing in it. It's just a space. Parang anaha calm when you enter a house. Welcome. Knowing na parang ang laki ng welcoming area mo, yeah. right? So it's so grand. Mamaya na tayo sa taas. Let's first go through the living area. Yes. Wow, this is the living area. Yes. Can you imagine? So much larger than the I know. You know, in Teleseries, how big the houses oh, are. Oh my! Ina ng naisip ko eh. First, when I walked in here, hindi pa dito nang yari yung mga away ng pamilya. Exactly. You so much. So, dami pa ding iba to. So, dami pa ding takbuhan. Right. So, yung mga families jan, yung mga nagaaway ng mga pamilya yeah. or yung. Mga... Pero sure, wala nagaaway sa pamilya. Of course, dito. here wala. So, since maganda yung feng shui yan, yes. all that. Maganda din yung flow ng energy. Yes, the energy is very important with these big houses, right, Elaine? Yes, exactly. So inside, going through this, parang ang iniisip mo, Shucks, gano pa kalaki itong pamilyang to? <laughs> right? Pero, you know, when I think of it, the first thing that comes into mind, Elaine, this house is something that's going to pass down from generation generations to, to generations. generations. Exactly. Kasi I think this is a house where you can actually have your family reunions from your uncles, great grandfathers to the current children that we have now. Right? Hanggang lumaki na lumaki yung family nyo, sobrang okay itong place ito for them. It's so big talaga. You can imagine all the chairs you're seeing here. Yes. And parang naisip ko na nga, what if dito magkaroon ng family reunion? Sobrang saya siguro. Sobra. Siyempre, I si can grandma, imagine. Siyempre, si grandma, si grandpa nandito sa mga big chairs dito. Oh, yung so, mga grandchild, grandchildren yes. can sit at these pretty furniture. Nagkakagulo yung mga bata sa floors. Together on Lego. So, enough of imaginations, right? So, this is just the living room. Meron pa tayong kitchen and dining area that will be going right now. Yes. What? So, Kevin, did you know that the owners actually designed the interior themselves? Themselves? Yes, they did it themselves. So, I'm assuming the Shempre, the mother of the house, would design this, right? Of course. Of course, so, all that wooden slats here mm -hmm. and the wooden accents, even this marble tile. Wow. Actually, it's ganda niyan kasi the marbles are usually put on the floor, yeah. on the tabletops, but no, it's an artwork. I know, <laughs> right? So resourceful and it looks and grand and yeah. amazing. So I think that's the unique selling point of this house also. That uh, they built this house on their own um, and they designed the house for them. So yes. ibig sabihin, the mother of the house designed this house for them to live peacefully easily comfortable yeah. and everything in between right so your maintenance your cleaning lahat inisip nila yun so what a wonderful dining table yeah right it's not just one dining table it's, it's two. two dining tables pero i would assume no if you would have a bigger siguro table pwede ka talaga maglagay ng isang sobrang habang dining yeah. table but then again you know Di, di kayo magkakausap oh, masyado. Pero this is actually, this actually looks nice as it is. It's beautiful. And the setup Be here is amazing. Before we move forward, no, the owner of this house told us that if you buy this house, all the furnitures, all the are fixtures included. are included. Exactly. So, whatever you see here, whatever features you might like, kasama na yan if you buy this property. Yes. Now, so let's guess, go. Wait, I think we missed the kitchen. Kitchen first. Kitchen? Yes, let's go to the kitchen. The heart of the home. Siyempre, where people <laughs> have their meals and cook their meals, yes. right? So, sobrang haba ng kitchen. Yes, like, ang ganda kasi. You can kasi. stay there, I can stay here. And we would still have so much space in between us. Right, so the owners told us that they eat breakfast here. Most of the time, they eat here since they're just around five and yeah. family so living like here. Guests, yeah, but they have family. guests, they use the dining tables. But imagine, with breakfast, ka, good morning, good morning, mom, oh good morning, dad, and then Parang... you're just gonna sit here in this solid marble countertop <laughs> that's so easy to clean, right? And then prepare oh. meals here. Actually, all the cabinetries are, siempre, are useful because, again, the mother of the house designed it. And yeah, you see the soft clothes. I can clothes. emphasize more, more and more about that because, siempre, yun, the mother of the house, iisipin paano papakainin yung kids, iisipin paano yung organization sa mga bagay. Exactly. Not that I'm saying that dad doesn't do it, right? Pero, in this family structure, yung mother ang nag-design. So, 
very very unique and very very useful lahat ng mga bagay na makikita niyo dito. Yes, and all that laminated cabinets with soft close hinges, sobrang perfect. Additional note lang siguro no na this family siguro doesn't really leave the house too much. But syempre, you have everything you have in here. Right? Actually, kung ako work from home, I would not leave this counter. Yes, imagine having coffee and then dito ka lang mag-work. Oh, tsaka, the space eh. You're not cramped. Yeah. You're not, uh, you can have all this moving space. You can stand up, move around, and you have another table. Yeah, this is where you prepare meals. You see how big this is? So, if you have, you're having a party with family, reunions, and all that, and lahat ng space mo, if you have help as well, syempre, may kanya-kanya kayong area to prepare meals. Yes. So, I actually imagine all the titas surrounding this area, nagkakwentuhan na, while and the making dads dumplings, and the titos you know? are talking over there, the kids are playing at the other side. So, ang dali ma-imagine dito sa house na to, how wonderful it is to actually live here. Yeah, exactly. So, syempre, again, there are mga stoves, may mga range hood. range hood, and the stove is also there. Is this included? <laughs> you know, I think it is. So, we really love our coffee. Yes. So, syempre, the, the family that lives here also loves coffee. I know. So, feeling ko may nakikita kayo sa side, sa right side namin. Mamaya yan. Mamaya. So, syempre, when you have this kitchen, I think you would also have a... Dirty kitchen. Dirty kitchen. But wait, I want to show you this first. Okay. You see this? Ang ganda, di ba? Ang ganda ng wall, ang ganda ng artwork niya. Mm. Madami you designed this as well. The owner designed it then. Can you imagine? Kaya sabi ko sa inyo, the mother of the house. Ito. Yeah. Bye. And by the way, hindi ka sama yung Belsa. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's not part of the list. Yeah. Wala yan sa add-ons. You can't buy them. This is a personal, personal collection. Personal collection. Okay, let's now let's check go. the dirty kitchen. Dirty kitchen yung ba talaga to ilit? Yes. Parang hindi nga siya dirty. <laughs> normal kitchen. Normal kitchen. In a normal house. Sa Pilipinas. So, syempre, di lang extraordinary property to. The dirty kitchen is also extravagant. It's huge. Like, the cabinetry is here. It doesn't really change doon sa kitchen. So, all the accents are still here. Pero syempre, lalaki yung kitchen mo. Yung range hood mo lumaki actually. Yeah. To so, big sabihin, parang it's just an extension. Hindi you know, kasi pag sinabi natin dirty kitchen, it's usually outside the home. Yeah. Para hindi sumama yung amoy, right? Mm -mm. So, mga mababang mm -hmm. ulam ng mga Pilipino. Now, here it's inside, but still you have a range hood para magamit may exhaust niya and mm -hmm. all that. So, may chiller ka rin. May chiller ka Guys, rin. And I think this is... This is included. The maid's room. Na may kasama rin toilet and bath. Yes. So I think this is the, the access to the laundry area, and you have an access here to the garage. So very useful, no mga access points niya for me. Yeah. Parang okay, sige, galaba ako. Sandi to na ako agad sa kitchen. Very accessible, sa. So I think the best part of the houses are yet to come. Of so, course. Let's go. This is just the first part of the ground floor. We're gonna check out the rooms here. So wait, before we go to the bedrooms, the ground floor. May nakalimutan kami i-share sa inyo. Look at this. You have your own pantry, pantry. room. Right? Siyempre, ang pinakamahalaga sa mga houses that are this big, kailangan mo ng malaking storage area. Yes, exactly. So, Especially syempre, when it comes to food. Yes, you're serving a big family and you know, all the guests that you're, be, you're gonna be serving, no? So, kailangan mo talaga ng maraming stock and this is where it all goes. Yes. Now, let's go check out the rooms first and then, you know, the special areas of the ground floor. Still on the same floor, we have two guest rooms. Yes. So imagine having a hallway like this, no? Siyempre, you're, you know, may security lang siya towards the dining area. Para at least you still have your room. Yes, privacy. you have your divider here, and of course this wood na fluted panel. So madami ganitong accents sa walls nila. You'll see it on the second floor as well. Mm, very little details also. Is when you see the sockets. Talaga nakatago siya doon sa wood yes. para at least hindi nawawala Flushed yung ano. Siya. Hindi yes. nawawala yung feel ng architecture. Ganda, no? Yeah. Now let's check out one of the rooms here. So this is one of the guest rooms. Guest rooms. Yeah, guest rooms with an S. So this is the first guest bedroom. Yes, so the tiles here are wooden tiles. So wooden yung pattern ng tiles siya, same with the other guest bedroom. So the other guest bedroom, same lang siya, mirrored lang. 
So, ito yung isa sa mga guest bedroom. So, meron ka ng bed frame here and of course, your mattress. Yes. Ang comfy nung comfy mattress niya. Comfy nung mattress niya. Eh. And of course, your side tables. Pero ang ganda na ng feeling na when you're a guest here, baka nga, pag ako yung guest dito, hindi na ako. Hindi ka na mo eh, <laughs> So, ang laki din ng space and you're also greeted by a large window, syempre. Yes. Yeah, then, ang ganda. Ang ganda na view mo. It, it lightens up the entire room, right? Grabe so, yung... kita mo yung garden. Sa garden. Labas. Mamaya, pupuntahan din natin yan. No? So, of course, you also have your own cabinets. Yeah. So, meron ka rin sariling bathroom. Yeah. And of course, meron ka pa nga ditong sofa eh, and chair. So, mm. so talagang inisip nila na, okay, yung mga guests dito kailangan very comfortable sila. Yeah. Kasi parang feeling ko yung mga guests hindi mo lumalabas sa kwarto eh. Oo, sobrang comfy kasi. <laughs> sobrang comfy. And of course, may art, artwork pa. Tignan mo, they have artworks. Ang dami nilang artworks dito you know, sa bahay. One thing to point out, all the artworks here are made by the mother. Uh, yeah. The mother of the family. So talagang, every artwork you see in this house, she made it. So talagang, sinasama niya actually yun sa pagbenta ng house. Yeah, eh. may touch of art so, by art. the mom. So iba yung feeling siguro na being at home, na seeing this art across the entire house. So, talaga may iba yung experience when you buy this house. Kasi kasama na yung artworks. Yes. So, now let's go check out another room just beside this room. So, this is just one of two guest bedrooms yes. we have. So, as comfortable, as spacious pa rin naman siya. Let's go check it out. Like I said earlier, it's just a mirror image of the other room. So, isa pang guest bedroom. Can you imagine? And, sorry, sobrang... Nagugustuhan ko talaga yung malaking, malalaking window eh. Yeah, it's a full-length glass window from the ceiling to the floor. Actually, para ka sa hotel. You're in the guest here. Exactly. So, we're actually going to one of the very unique rooms in this house. But I have to mention that it's not part of what's on sale, right? It's very unique and kaya actually very hesitant yung father of the house to very actually sell this house. Exactly. Because of that, that room. room. So if you're excited as I am, let's go check it let's out. Let's go. Oh, it's so good. So excited ako kasi alam mo matagal ko na dream magkaroon ng music room. Okay. You really don't know what to feel when you go to this room because there's so many records here. Right? And the yung turntables mo sobrang dami. Okay, so yung mga records dito hindi kasama to ha. Oh, at this na sabi namin kanina. That's very unique to this house and. That's why the owner is very hesitant to sell it because andito lahat ng collections niya ng turntables, ng vinyl records. Yes. And you would actually get to feel yung yung aura ng room like sitting here just closing your eyes listening to music, right? Exactly. Sobrang alam mo yung classic mga classic films, yeah. 'di ba? And then they have their own rooms or even yung living area nila na may turntables. Tapos uupo ka lang dito like uupo ka lang. And then diba? may play na music. Yun na yun. Mas diba? makakatulog ka na dyan. Oo! <laughs> this also has uh, its own storage room na slash workshop uh, na ginagawa rin ng ano, owner ng house. No? Kasi siya yung gumagawa ng mga repairs, kung ano yung kailangan gawin for the third yes. tables. And may rocking chair siya. May rocking chair siya. So, to add to the feel of this room. Yeah, you know, just put on some music, yeah. have some whiskey. But with the right price, bibitawan din to ng owner. Pero syempre, you have to think about the heritage of these vinyl records. Yes, as old as, I don't know, because some came from the grandparents pa oh. ng owner. So, and it's then, niya counted as used eh. Parang minimension ng owner kanina. There's a difference between used and vintage. Yes. Used and pre-loved. Because these things that you see here in front of us are very properly maintained. From down to the turntables and even the vinyl records are very mint condition. Yes. Can you imagine? Matagal lang nagkakolek talaga si owner ng vinyl records. Oh my God, hindi wakang ko kaya lang ba yun? <laughs> Okay lang siguro, I guess. Kanina pinakita niya sa atin, tapos pina pinahawak niya pa naman. Eh. <laughs> so, imagine gano'ng kanipis yung mga vinyl records, ha? This is one. I know. See? These are two records. Yeah, oh so, imagine... Oh, look, Beethoven! Okay, I'm gonna put this back. Yeah. So, this is serious. Back where you found it, kasi may mga yeah. markers siya. Ayusin natin ulit. Just to organize ulit. everything. Right, okay. So, yun. So, again, this is not part of what's on sale, but... 
with the right price when you negotiate with us, baka masama namin to. Yes. So, you know, it's really worth it for sure if ever you're gonna get this house and you want the records yourselves. Lalo na sa mga collectors din dyan. So, I guess now we should be going to the gym. Yes, let's go to the gym. I know you're so excited for yes. the gym. Let's go. Ay, tigil lang. Andiyan natin yung video ko for now. Wait lang! So, <laughs> Nag-enjoy kami. So, guys, welcome to the gym yes. of this house. So this house comes with a ping pong table, mm -hmm. like from Decathlon, mga to galing eh. Oh wow, okay. So you have your weights here, your machines here. Merong kayo elliptical, elliptical, uh, treadmill, bench Siyempre, press. Bench press kayo dito, chara. Sure. Merong kang punching bag. Yeah. Sa mga mahilig magboxing or muay thai jan. Or kung may galit sa tao, mm. so pahawal na di ba? Pwede pwede. So may nakikita ako dito ili. May mga tennis rackets there. So it means. Mayro kaya tennis court. Probably, we'll see. We'll see, no. So sobrang laki na ng area na to. I think uh, you'll be. This is ample space for you to work out. Mm-hmm. Ba uh, siguro add a few more machines here and there, no. Pero to be honest, pa hindi na ako mag membership pag ito na yung gym sa bahay. Exactly, and of course, sure, may mirror ka dito so you can see yourself while working out. Yeah, dito yung yoga station. area mo. You have your mats there. So complete talaga siya, yes. di ba? Yes. So this is included in this house. I just might uh, want to emphasize on that. And I think when we go outside, what what, what are we gonna see? A lot, okay. I'm sure. So let's check that out. Let's go. So you have your very own pool. I know. Amazing. So ang ang gusto ko touch dito actually is. You have your coffee equipment on the other side. Tapos nito may mga chairs to for to lounge on. So for example, if you're just sitting here, can I have some coffee, please? Oh. Yeah, because nito lang yung kitchen, lang just kitchen, eh. beside. This. And you have this amazing view of your pool. And going towards the pool, no, may sarili siyang fountain. Um, and uh, syempre bilang we're in the 21st century, wala tayong cleaner. Meron tayong robot that cleans your pool for you. Amazing, right? That's also included when you buy this house. Yes. So you can do the barbecues here. You can you lounge have... here. Oh, and look at this chair, though. Ito na lang ako. Para ka nasa resort. Yes. So I feel so luxurious. Yeah. To be Tapos ang ganda pa ng wall niya there. Na they have grass. the grass, uh, faux grass wall. Sobrang nakakadagdag ng peaceful and relaxing accent. That's okay. true. And that's not all because meron pa tayong aakitan. So, tara. So, hindi lang dito nagtatapos yung outdoor activities ng bahay na to. So, part of its amenities is also what we're about to see right now. Tara, Elaine. So up here, hindi pa siya totally finished, no? Kasi syempre, with this large house, may kailangan talagang ayusin pa. And we have our Asset Mart team over here playing some basketball. Pasa nga dito. So at least may basketball court ka, pero... Oh! <laughs> pero no, it can also be uh, a tennis court. Uh, I guess the owner mentioned something about picket ball. Uh, picket ball. Yeah, they're planning to convert it to a picket ball so, court. Volleyball court, Pedrin, actually. So imagine having this as part of your house. Parang hindi ka na actually aalis talaga ng bahay mo. Kaya na hindi ang ko yung sinabi ng owners na house ne. Parang why would we leave the house? Talagang you're in Antipolo. You have the cold weather at night and the amazing breeze of Antipolo. Pagka umaga hanggang hapon. And you have this. Exactly. In your house. So, Sobrang hindi cramped. Unlike in Metro Manila, sobrang masikip karamihan uh -oh. ng places. Here, it's really wide and spacious. So, talagang hindi ka mauubusan ng gagawin. Even if you're just inside your house. Yes, and you can see how big it is, no? And hindi pa actually doon nagtatapos yun, eh. Kasi meron pa tayong mga kubo sa taas. Ngayon pa lang, napapagod na ako umakit. Oo nga eh. Alam mo yun, naakit pa lang tayo ng stairs. Parang feeling ko mo pagod na pagod ako. Pagod na ako. So tara, puntahan naman natin yung ano, nasa taas. 
Look grabe. at that view! Ang view! Ang ganda, grabe! Parang naiintindihan ko lang yung sinasabi nung, ano, nung Cloud9. Di ba na yung Ah, yeah. That Parang, was really famous. I can really feel that I'm in Cloud9. In this house! I know, you don't have to go there anymore. You don't have to pay for the view because it's your house. Amazing. And you, you can actually see the solar panels from here. Yeah, so may hybrid solar panel setup sila dito. So we mentioned yung mga solar panels, no? The owners actually told us that uh, it cut down their electricity cost by almost 60, 70. 70 percent. Yeah, right? around 70 percent. So it's already installed. It's a 32, mm -hmm. 32 watt kilowatt battery that can actually power your house. So imagine yung mga, siyempre sabi ko sa inyo, pinag-isipan talaga ng pamilyang to paano to gagawin yung bahay. So even the costs of the house, the maintenance, are even thought of. Yes, of course. And of course, now, nandito tayo sa kubo. Itong kubo na to. Sabi ng owner, Sabi pagka nang, pag nag-away sila ni Mrs., dito siya. Pupo. Dito daw siya. <laughs> dito siya. Ma-expel sa bahay, oh. tapos dito siya magdatago. So, meron talagang kwarto dito, guys. So, it's actually, parang a taste of the province here. Yeah. Kasi nakakubo ka, pero if you look far away, you see Pasig, you see Laguna Makati. Bay, Makati. You can see everything from here. Yes. So, ang ganda pa rin ng view. So, okay lang ma-expel for, you know, some, sometimes lang. Oh, sometimes lang. Pag-away ka ni mm -hmm. Mrs. or what not. So, it's an amazing view and it comes with the house. This house actually sits on a very high portion of Antipolo. That's yeah. why, kaya nila actually ginawa and binili tong bahay na to and lupang to. Kasi, this is what you get. Yeah. The view and of course, the breeze of the air here in Antipolo. Yeah, I can actually imagine my friends gathering here already, having some drinks and looking at the Yeah, you set up a boodle fight here. Oh, oh saya. Mamaya, makikita natin actually yung sunset. Oh yeah, I'm yes. so excited to see that. So now, we are going towards the garden area. Yeah. The back. So, sabi ko sa inyo, every access of this house is very thought of. Mm -hmm. So now, we can actually go around the house from here. Let's go. Actually, going down the lane. I'm not sure if our audiences could hear, but you can hear a mass going on. Yes. Because we're just behind the, the church. Pio church. Yeah. So one good opportunity for this house is, and daming malapit din. Kaya nga parang walking distance ng church. And mind you, the view that we have here, just walking through here, ang ganda na. Like every portion of this house has a good view. Sobrang daming greenery. Sobrang daming greenery. So tara, baba tayo. Yeah. Let's go check out the garden sa baba. So this is the garden area. Oh, with the dogs. But they're not part of what's gonna be on sale, huh? Just to be clear. <laughs> <laughs> so this is actually the view of the guest rooms, right? Yes. So kanina, we showed you the guest rooms. Ito yon. Mm -hmm. view nila ito, this garden area here. And of course, may patio area ka rin dito. So Kaya if you just parang wanna andan chill. parts of the house that you can actually enjoy. Yeah. And just lounge on. So you have your patio. Sobrang chill. And kahit dito pa lang, maganda na yung views ng clouds. You have an unobstructed view of the city. Tapos ang fresh ng air, no? Oo, oh, iba talaga yung quality of air. I guess this is the part where we go back to what we said in the first part of this mm -hmm. video. Na. Why do the wealthiest Filipinos buy a property in Antipolo? I guess we're understanding that now. Yes. So the fresh air. Peace actually, and quiet. Birds na dumadaan. Yeah. So, I feel at peace. Parang that's why I think this uh, house or even some other houses in Antipolo is considered as a rest house. Mm -hmm. Because they feel at peace. Yes, and of course the big cuts here as yeah. well. And uh, I understand why the family actually didn't want to leave this house and they actually live in this house. They mm -hmm. do not treat it as a rest house. They actually live here. Yes. So I think we should now go the second floor. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. I'm so excited for the second floor because actually, you know. Well, I still want to rest in this patio, but we have a lot in store for you in the second floor. Yes, a lot Let's of go. surprises. So you know you have a big house if you have floor to ceiling curtains. Oh my, I can't, I can't even imagine washing that. Right? It looks amazing. So, it makes it bigger. Yeah, it's already big and it makes it a lot more bigger. And of course, the chandelier. Yeah, you would appreciate how large this house is by just looking at the stairs. Yes, so, this mahogany lapad. stairs, yeah. right? And I, I think we failed to mention that earlier the door is made out of... Nara. 
So it's high quality wood. Yes. Then look at this hallway pala. So the front door is Nara, but the doors here on the second floor is also made out of mahogany. And the tiles here, it's tiles, but the pattern is like a wooden pattern tile. And I think we have to enter this room first. Okay. Siyempre, meron tayong intercom system. Diba? Sa laki ng bahay na to, you really need one. And again, you need communication. So, siyempre, Elaine, dinner's ready. So, later na. I'm still busy. Call me later. Wow. <laughs> so, siyempre, having a big home, you also need security. And this is your CCTV room. You okay. have a CCTV room. I kid you not. It's, a, it's actually a room just for your security. Well, you can actually lounge here. Yeah. Pero siyempre, you have the entire view of your home. From your front to the back, to the tennis court, to the mm -hmm. pool, and everything else. So, siyempre, kailangan talaga ng security when you have this large of a home. Exactly. So, you'll feel safe as well kahit na malaking bahay mo and you know, uh, you don't have guards around. Mm -hmm. At least you can see everything that's happening right, in your yeah, house. Yeah, right. Oh, of course. And this comes with the house, of course. Mm -hmm. The security. And siyempre, kasama pa rin sa house mm -hmm. when you buy this property. So, let's go to the next room. Yes, let's go. So, what is this room, Elaine? This room is one of the master's bedroom here in this house. You can also convert it to an office space. So before we enter, this is what a 280 million property master bedroom looks like. It's big. It's so big. So just to juice up your imaginations, I am this far from Elaine. And there's a sala in between us and your bed here. And your reading couch. Yes, your reading couch. So take note, the flooring, the bedrooms here on this floor are made of mahogany. So mahogany flooring niya, and the other rooms mahogany then. But Very the Filipino outside, talaga, pag mahogany yes, yung, floors, no? yung outside is wooden tiles. So iba talaga yung feels, especially when it comes to bedrooms. Mas okay talaga kapag wood siya and not tiles, because you know most of the time you're on your feet and it's not cold if it's not tiles. So better talaga if wood. So, meron din siyang balcony. Let's check this out. So, kahit yung balcony yung laki. Oo nga eh. <laughs> so, actually, if you have this, the appliances are here, the chairs na nakikita nyo, not the cigars, but you have the view of your pool, you have the chairs, just the lounge room, actually, mm -hmm. I wanna have a feel of this view. Actually, ito yung gusto kong upuan. Ah, Or yung parang medyo... recliner. <laughs> so, uh, very relaxing, and you would appreciate the time and effort that this family put in this house. Yeah, so chill. Kaya nga para na intindihan ko na they're hesitating to sell, but I guess with the right price, talagang they would let go of this property. Yeah, if someone gives the right price, if not, they'll be happy to keep it. Yeah, pero imagine they actually want another family to experience this. I know. Because there's another story to tell when you buy this house. Another bigger family would enjoy this house mm -hmm. with the amount of rooms, the amount of room in that area. So, it's a big area. And you would definitely enjoy living here. So, we're going to relax. We have to go to the next part room? of this tour. Next room? Ba? Room, ba? room, but we have to check out one place first before we go to the next room. Alright. So before we go to the next part of this tour, we're going to show you the walk-in closet of this first master bedroom. So, syempre, what's a master's bedroom without, without a walk-in walk closet? closet? So. so you have your own walk-in closet. Take note, this is the small master bedroom compared to the other one. You'll see the master bedroom, master closet on the next one. So, malaki talaga siya. Yes, so yung walk-in closet mo leads up to your bathroom. Hindi ka masisikipan here. Uh Oo, -oh, may glass spacious. separator ka pa. And of course, windows are non-negotiable in this house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there has to be one. Marble yung tiles mo. So aside from the wood accents, they really love marble tiles. Yeah, ang ganda din kasi. Ang lakas maka... And they even made a wallpaper out of it. Yeah, ang lakas maka classy. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's go to the... Secret room. <laughs> and before we enter the room that we were talking about, Check out and appreciate this second living room. 
You see this? They have a katana. Oo nga eh. Parang natakot akong hawakan siya. Kaya hanggang dyan lang muna siya. Hanggang tingin na lang tayo. Oo. So this is like the second family room. Or family area. Second sala, second living room. But there's also pool table. I know! I love pool. So there's a pool table. There's a mini bar here, I guess for coffee. I see a coffee machine and some... Yes. And you also have a powder room here. Mm -hmm. So it's actually very useful to have this here because at least when you go down, you have drinks. When you go up, you still have you drinks. Still have, you still have drinks. So imagine just walking around the house. Okay, ito lang gagawin ko for today. Mm -hmm. diba? Parang dami pa ding activities. Sobrang dami. But I guess one of the highlights of this house is this balcony at the second floor. This is one of my favorite areas here. Sobrang ganda. Grabe. It's, it has the same view from the Kubo upstairs. Pero, ito medyo mas marami lang puno. No? I guess that's why they made that. Yeah. Out of the house, so that they would have an unobstructed view of the entire cityscape of Metro Manila. Yeah, but look at that. Look at this sunset. Ang ganda. We'll actually have a time lapse of the sunset and we'll just show it to you, right? Yes. Now. So imagine how beautiful it is just reminding yourself, ah, five o'clock na. Ipo muna tayo sa labas. Oh, I'll just Lumalamig lounge na here. Hangin. Tapos ang ganda na. ng view. So, kape lang, or kape, drinks. Or beer. Yeah. So, ang aliwalas. Guys, pakinggan nyo ah. Huwag tayo magsasalita. All I can hear are bird birds chirping. Not even the roads. Not even the cars outside. Talagang sobrang peaceful here and you would understand why this family chose this spot and why they built this house to live in. Yes, and imagine, this is just near Metro Manila. Yeah, a few, right? a few minutes away from Ortigas, mm -hmm. a few minutes away from uh, Taguig, and even Quezon City. And may ganito pala, may ganitong oh, sanctuary sa ganitong lugar. I think that's the beauty of having a property in to mm. be honest. Having that flexibility between nature. going to the north and going to the south and living in the middle of nature. Yeah. Iba pa rin talaga yung main nature feels than city and you're just near the city area. So, uh, perfect balance. Oh, right? parang yung sinasabi nila na I need a break from the hustle and bustle of the city. Yeah. You're just 20 minutes away from this. Exactly. <laughs> and you could live here. I think it's time that we check out the room that we were talking the about. Secret the secret room. Yes, let's go. So let's check that out. Welcome, Welcome to the theater room. Such an amazing feature having this here. I know. Imagine, of course, this is a 280 million house. Of course, you're gonna have a theater room. But to be honest, I didn't expect it to have one. But seeing it here right now, parang I would understand. Okay, this makes a lot of sense. Yes, imagine. And an laki ng theater room niya. It's not a small movie room lang. Pero imagine you have how many chairs here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven seater. Right. And then you know. Uh, ang ganda lang kasi syempre pag naka-turn off lahat ng lights dito, sobrang cinematic lang niya and then you just see the big screen. And para ma-appreciate mo rin siya, you have speakers everywhere. So parang, alam mo yung pag sa cinemas, pagka lumalabas na yung Dolby, <laughs> parang nafe-feel ko na nga siya ngayon, wala pa nga nangyayari. And look at that projector. It's huge. So, assumingly, that can actually show 4K easily. For sure. For sure. And look, the space here is big enough for you to add more chairs. Um, as you can see here, yung Lazy Boy chair na dito na, ano, na one, two, three, four, four seater. You can add another one in front. That's how amazing the space is. And everything is actually proportioned for a big family. Yes. And do you see this? They even have a drum set. A drum set inside the theater room. <laughs> Para siyempre, yung sound, sound insulation. right? Soundproof talaga mm -hmm. siya. So this amazing feature is also part of what they will be getting if they buy this property. How amazing is this, right? It's really amazing. 
So we're not yet done. We have another two rooms to show you. Three, actually. Three. Yes. So let's go to that now. Let's go. So after that theater room, we're gonna check out the bedrooms here. But before we check that out, check out this hallway. You see this wooden footed panels here. What do you imagine? What can you remember when you see this? You know, it reminds me of a Japanese hallway. I guess one of those things that we saw in our other videos, mm -hmm. most especially in the seasons video, you can actually see this pattern very prominently around the condominiums being sold there. So there's one room here that's the same as this. Room. Yes, so it's we'll just, just mirrored. Yeah, so let's just check out this room. Let's go. So this is a kid's room, right? Kids room, but it's bigger than my room. I know exactly. So this is one of the bedrooms that's not the master bedroom, but it's still really spacious. Yeah, you have your workstation here. Um, in this case, it, this is for their eldest uh, girl. So, mm -hmm. parents silang study area, printer. So lahat ng mga books na binabasa and for school are here. Um, mm -hmm. Cabinets are also here. They have a TV here. Um, ang cute actually ng couch. Yes, ang cute ng couch. And of course, note that lahat ng furnitures dito are included. I guess not the mga plushies. Oh, of no? course, not the plushies. It has sentimental value to the person who lives here. But also, it has a... Walk-in closet. Wow! Imagine being a kid and being spoiled with a walk-in closet. I know. Right? Parang, how will I live without it right now? So let's enter. Okay. So, Elaine, if you were... 16 or 18 years old living with your parents, is this enough? Definitely enough. Even more than enough. Imagine living 16 years and of course, and dami mo ng clothes by then. Uh -oh. But, but I only had like one closet. Can you imagine? Parang, ang iniisip ko right now is, what if you were 18? Now you wanna decide to move out of your parents' house. But your clothes are this the, many. Exactly. So ngayon, how will I live without the walk-in closet? But it's not just the walk-in closet that's big. Say if you enter the shower area, it's huge. Yeah, it's so spacious. It's like as spacious as the master, I think, or yeah. just a little bit smaller than the master bedrooms. Or I think the shower area is a bit larger than the masters, the first one. Yeah, I love the glass separator, talaga, the enclosure ng shower cool. area. And of course, you even have like a full-length mirror here and the marble tile. The marble tiles that they love so much. I know. <laughs> but I really love it too. Now, let's go check out the last bedroom. It's the master bedroom. And of course, it's the biggest bedroom in this house. Let's go. So there's a funny theme emerging throughout our tour. You know what? What? There's a lot of lounge areas. I know. And now I'm starting to understand why. Because if you keep going throughout this house, walking around the house, parang, I need a break. <laughs> yeah, mapapagod ka sa laki ng bahay. Oo, pero grabe to spaces ato. Ano mo pwedeng i-customize mm. when, when you buy this house. Pero as it is, uh, parang feeling ko marami ako mga friends ako mapapicture dito sa area na to. Yeah, ang, ang ganda ng setup niya. No? Ang dami mo pwedeng gawin. Ang dami ito yung pwedeng gawin. But, let's go to the last and final room of this house. Right. Let's go. Grabe. Ngayon naman parang feeling ko nasa sala ako sa laki ng kwarto. Oo nga. Ang laki ng kwarto. And you still have your sala set in here. Yeah, parang you have so much room to play with. Parang okay, the kids could actually just play there while you watch a TV. While you watch TV. Na might I say sobrang laki, na 85 inches. That's also included in this house. Yeah, and imagine if tamad kang bumaba to go to the gym, you can just set up like your yoga mat oh, here. Or you Pwede kang yoga can do dito. calisthenic workouts here. Yeah, kasi ang laki ng space niya talaga. You know one theme also that I've seen that, been, that has been repeating? You mm -hmm. know wood na patterns like this on the, on the right? Yeah. You see it, right? Parang it's a common theme around the house also. It's very nice. Yeah, it's customized by the owner. The owner. So, you know, if you like any of this or, or if you dislike it, if you want to change anything, of course you can do that mm -hmm. when you buy this house. But honestly speaking, when I saw this house, parang as it is, it's enough. So we have to ask actually the owner if this is included. This baby of a relaxation <laughs> will be included. No? I know, you have your own massage chair, but we still have to ask them, of course. Yeah, nakailang try out ka na ba sa more? I not actually be able to But we have to check out the balcony area which we actually showed you earlier. It's in the 
other master's room. So, again, ma- actually, mas appreciate ko tong view na to. Kasi, blesyo siya sa, ano, pool, sa pool. No? Tapos, kita ko yun ng um, ang kubo, no? But I guess, one of the features of this room is the walk-in closet. So, we're gonna show you the walk-in closet. Okay, I'm so excited to show you the walk-in closet here. Because it's actually bigger than my own bedroom. I mean, can you see this? The walk-in closet here is really big. It's equivalent to the biggest master bedroom here, I think. So big. Oh, it's so big. And there's an island here on the table. Oh, it's probably for watches, jewelry, misses. Mm-mm. And then, of course, the toiletries. Para hindi magagalit yung asawa mo dito pagka magkakapanggaan kayo kasi sobrang dami ng space. Yeah, may vanity area ka pa inside. And of course, meron kang, tignan mo naman to, may display cabinet ka ng bags. Can you see this? So if you have your luxury bags there, secure siya kasi meron kang cabinet dito nun. Ganda. Oo, ang laki talaga nung walk-in closet. You wanna pick out a bag for today's uh, video? <laughs> I'm so tempted, I but know you tempted. know. So I guess one of the features also of this walk-in closet is the bathroom. Yes, of Siyempre course. Dahil ito yung pinaka main na bathroom in the house. We have to check out this massive bathroom. Oh, they have their own bathtub. Actually, it's a jacuzzi bathtub. Can oh, you see this? Yeah. Ah, amazing. So super laki niya talaga. So. Bilang ito yung master's bathroom, parang ganun, di ba? Sobrang na-appreciate ko yung detail na parang dito sila nag-spend talaga ng mga ganitong tubs, mm-hmm. ng space. Grabe no, Kevin. That was quite a house tour. It really was. And the amazing part is, this could be yours for only 280 million pesos. You would say na parang, bakit ang taas ng presyo? But did you see what we just went through? Yeah, exactly. You had the pool, you had the tennis court, you had the entire view of the metro at your balcony. Of course, the theater room. Yeah. Right? So, it, worth it. Right. So, worth, worth it. it. So, this property is exclusively available on Asset Mart Global. So, don't forget to message or call us at the number below or check this property at assetmart.global. And don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon for more real estate tours and property tips. Again, I am Kevin. And I'm Elaine. And we're here to help you move in and move up with, with Asset, Asset Mart Global. Global.